In this last video for WP types, we're going to cover access, which covers all of the permissions and manages who can access what and who can access what forms. And so this is going to affect those of you that might have multiple membership levels or who are restricting content to certain roles, right? So in order to view access, we're going to hover over tool set and we are going to click on access control. So this is our main access page and this is going to show us the con different content post types in our site. So let's say, for example, that we wanted uh, for restaurants, we wanted to manage this by access. So this is the default permissions. And so if you don't have permissions managed by access. It's going to share the same permissions that a WordPress poster page would be, which is essentially that only contributors and above would be able to submit content. Uh, but let's say that we wanted to have it managed by access. And what we want to be able to do is have our subscribers publish restaurant, right? That doesn't mean that it's automatically going to be published, but it's giving them that permission so that they can submit content to the site. So we're doing publish delete any and edit any we don't want because we don't want those users to be able to edit or delete anybody else's content. Uh, but we may want them to delete their own, edit their own, preview it and read it. All right. And this is also for the read access. You can also deny certain roles ability to see content as well. Uh, and then we would click on save. And now our subscribers uh, would be able to use our cred forms and be able to submit content or they have that permission to do so. And let's do the same thing with reviews. So we'll do manage by access and we will let subscribers publish and edit own and delete own. And let's say preview or not actually let's uncheck preview on both of these and, uh, and add read access, right? And then we'll save that as well. And then if we go up to our cred forms, we go to post front end, front post forms front end and access group. And then what we can do is for our subscriber, we can see delete own posts using cred, create custom posts with cred forms, submit review. So can they use the submit review? Can they use the submit restaurant? Edit review. Uh, sorry, not edit others. And so we just want to take a look at these and you can read up above. So this is whether they can create content using cred forms, edit it, delete it, and then also can they edit other people's content. So if you wanted to set up a certain role, like a custom role uh, for a restaurant manager and you didn't want to give them access to the front end, right? We could create a separate view just for them that would only be accessible or be able to be seen by them. And then we could give them uh, basically a view that lists all content with those edit links the same way we did manage your content or manage user content page but we could set it up so they first of all see all the content and then if we give them access to edit others posts with cred forms right they would be able to go in and edit any content so basically you just want to be able to give them permissions for the post types on whether they can publish it read it delete it edit and then we want to go to our cred forms and we want to do the same thing as we want to make sure that they can edit uh, delete and publish their content with those cred forms. So uh, access is pretty easy to set up. We just set up for all the different post types that we want. We set up our permissions there. And then we want to make sure to do the same thing in cred forms so that all matches up. So they have the access to use the cred forms that they're going to need to do the different things that they might need. And then combining that with custom roles, we can create you know multiple custom roles and then give them certain access to cred forms and certain access to post types, uh, depending on what they're going to need to do. And that's the basics of access. It's a really just kind of simple system at the end to make sure that everybody has permission to do whatever they need to do and blocking that permission or blocking access to those things for people who shouldn't be managing it. So in our restaurant reviews, let's say that man, you know, restaurants had to be approved before they were able to submit and edit content. So they would, you know, using a contact form apply to you, and then you could create a user and then apply them a custom role of restaurant owner, and only they would be able to submit restaurants or just something like that. Or if you know, the other side of it, if you only wanted reviews to be submitted by approved food critics, you could create a role for food critics and then make sure that they were able to access those forms and access those post types you know and then there's others you can go eat more in depth that you can do taxonomies so certain roles only had access to submit you know certain you know submit content in certain categories or something like that um, i will link again documentation to access because it's a simple format but there's a lot of complex things you can do with it and uh, i don't know if we'll be able to cover all of those things i will be creating optional tutorials for uh, different scenarios that people would be using access and types for as well uh, but those will come out over time so in general uh, read through the documentation that i'm 
going to link, but in general, we just need to set up permissions for post types, set up permissions for cred forms, and if we need to, create custom roles within our system that would essentially be different versions of a subscriber or something like that that had access to certain content. So that is access with WP types.